This video series will teach you how to create Sudoku puzzles, but not how to solve Sudoku puzzles. The word giant means that you will learn how to create Sudoku puzzles that are larger than 9x9 newspaper style puzzles. The elementary mathematics for Sudoku and Magic Squares video explains number systems such as decimal, binary, and hexadecimal. It also explains exponentiation and it explains mathematical operations with number systems other than base 10. The Creating Magic Squares video shows how to create a 5x5x5 five by five by five magic square using base 5 numbers. It also illustrates the Sudoku Giant Puzzle Maker and explains how to present magic squares in several formats. The Creating Sudoku Puzzles video explains how to use magic squares to create Sudoku puzzles. The software development video explains how to obtain the Java source code for Sudoku Mathematics and the Eclipse source code for Sudoku Giant Puzzle Maker. This video also explains how the unit test code can be used as documentation for creating magic squares and Sudoku puzzles. Magic squares and Sudoku puzzles are concerned with ordered arrangements of numbers, particularly whole numbers, which are called integers. Magic squares arrange consecutive integers into a square matrix. The sum of the numbers in each row, each column, and sometimes each diagonal is the same. The sum is called the magic sum or the magic number. Magic hypercubes are similar arrangements that extend into many dimensions and have the same magic sum property. Magic squares have been known since antiquity. The low shoe legend describes a turtle with the numbers for a magic square embedded on its shell. Physical representations of magic squares have been recorded as early as the Yuan Dynasty in China. A Sudoku puzzle is also an ordered arrangement of integers. This is a 9x9 newspaper style Sudoku puzzle. The numbers between 1 and 9 appear exactly once in each column and each row of the puzzle. This is equivalent to the magic square constraint that the sum of the numbers in each row and each column be equal to the magic sum. A newspaper style puzzle has the additional constraint that the numbers between 1 and 9 appear exactly once in each 3x3 three three submatrix within the puzzle. Magic squares and Sudoku puzzles are entertaining, but their underlying mathematics may have other applications. This happens frequently with basic and simple mathematics. For example, George Boole wrote An Investigation of the Laws of Thought in 1854. This work became the basis for Boolean algebra and other arrangements of logical symbols, which can be represented as integers, such as gray codes and Hamming codes. Constrained ordered representations of integers may find applications in quantum computing and proteomics. Boolean algebra provides tools for manipulating logical representation of two-state digital devices. Magic hypercubes may provide tools for manipulating multi-state qubit-based quantum devices. Protein folding can be described in terms of an alpha helix structure and a beta sheet structure. Long polypeptide chains tend to have a tertiary structure imposed by attraction among chemical groups such as amino acids that contain sulfur. Complex proteins such as hemoglobin take on a quaternary structure based upon binding non-protein groups, for example iron atoms. These protein structures can be modeled as ordered arrangements of integers. The tertiary and quaternary structures can be modeled as constraints upon rotations of multidimensional magic squares. We use these rotations to modify the difficulty of Sudoku puzzles, which we derive from magic squares. I hope that you enjoy these videos and create your own Sudoku puzzles. Perhaps you will also enjoy studying the underlying mathematics and applying it to quantum computing or proteomics or your field of interest.